man. Fucking, these are great nice people. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of look and see what's getting boarded up or what's already been boarded up. I'm still fucking talking here! Okay. Don't cut! If you get a property for free, is it guaranteed to be a can't lose real estate investment? That's today's question on the Ask James Wise Show. Let's dive in. First and foremost, you know, we're out here in the Cleveland market. The majority of people that are watching my shows and learning about real estate investing, a lot of people that gravitate towards Holton Wise gravitate towards the Cleveland market. You know, you guys are gravitating towards this market because the price points are just so cheap compared to where you live. Like, you know, California, that's our biggest source of clientele. You guys out there on the West Coast, you're looking at the prices we have here in Cleveland and you're like shocked. You can't like believe how cheap that a lot of the properties you can buy are because it's unlike anything you've ever seen where you live. So what I found that I get a lot of uh, investors or, or people doing, especially those that are kind of new to the game that are really aren't familiar with the Cleveland market, you're looking on like Zillow or Realtor.com, you know, just Google searches, and you're finding like the cheapest possible properties. And sometimes you guys are approaching me with properties that are like $500, $1,000, $5,000, just like insanely ridiculous low prices. Like you could literally just slap that thing on a credit card or just pull out the money in your pocket and buy a property. We're cheap out here in Cleveland. It is cheap, but it ain't that cheap, guys. When you see those homes that are that, that cheap, okay, you need to have some red flags going up in your head. You cannot buy a property for like two or three or $4,000 in the Cleveland market and have it actually be habitable for reasonable human beings. Hell, even unreasonable human beings, it's still not in a habitable state. Yeah, our market's cheap, but it ain't that cheap. I mean, you're looking at a minimum of probably 25K to buy a property that can actually house a human being out here in this market. I could stand here till I'm blue in the face telling investors like you who aren't necessarily familiar with the Cleveland market why these cheap properties still aren't worth buying, but I've noticed that a lot of you are still drawn to them. You're looking at them with your out of state eyes and you figure, hey, they're five, 600 bucks, they're free. How can I possibly lose? The thing is, you still need to do a lot of due diligence on properties this cheap. Honestly, I'm gonna argue to you that the cheaper the property is, the more due diligence you should probably do. The other day, another investor offered me a condo that he just needed to liquidate. This guy wanted out of this thing. He didn't offer it to me for free, but it may have well been for free. He offered it to me for only $2,500, and that was his initial offer to me. So honestly, if I really wanted the condo, I could break the thing down and probably pick it up for free. So what you're about to see is the actual due diligence my team went out and did at this property. Roll the footage. We're going to uh, a free condo that someone offered James. Uh, it's a very long POS report and violations that are going to need to be corrected so it's actually not free you have to put money in to fix it the other condos in the area uh, or similar condos in the area sell for about 15 to 20k how much did the guy want for it he wanted 2500 bucks and i think that was just to cover the closing costs for like the title transfer and title search and you think the repairs are going to be more than yeah they actually got a bid from their contractor that put it around 20k i think <laughs> and you know we do a little bit better quality work than the most normal contractors, so probably a little bit more. This is like a little kind of weird pocket. It's surrounded by like two highways and uh, like a storage unit place in front of it. So it's not like a residential neighborhood. It's just like a complex that's set back in like nothing else. I don't know the occupancy rate, um, but it seems like a very large complex based on the MapQuest stuff. I like that. Google. Miles Landon. It looks like he used to have a little uh, gated community here. And that's no longer there. <laughs> Road looks so rough. I'm surprised uh, Bowie even came by. They probably paid somebody. So, 
We already uh, see one boarded up window over there. There's a broken window. There's a boarded up one there. There's some busted windows up top. The trash all around the dumpster, not in the dumpster. Yeah, there's some trash around the dumpster. We should probably drive around and make sure that it sticks together the car. And then there's some just people just parked up on the... That's a park. Sidewalk. Look at this uh, truck, barely has a bumper. We got into an auto accident. That's a cute one. There's some shit piled by the dumpster over there as well. Nice graffitied up uh, signs. Man, that looks, these are fresh coat of paint. Bars on the windows. That one's empty, it's got a lockbox on it. And boarded up. Over here. We don't see that. See, there's no footprints from like anybody actually doing or going that maybe. Front not so secure. Didn't need the lockbox code, thankfully. See what's missing. It's a two-story condo, but I mean, what the fuck are you gonna do? You're gonna be the only nice condo in the place, and someone's gonna break in and steal everything. Windows not even closed. There's some. We should have brought that light. Like half-eaten food everywhere. I don't see any water supply lines, so I don't know where the fuck they went. This is a. New and improved nifty lock system. Oh, they're broken right here at the floor. See, there's green notes. So you have to tie back into your water supply. I'm sure that the, the steel like drain lines that are not used, they start to rust out, and then you know somebody goes to use them and they get all fucked up. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> there's a uh, fuse panel. I think they're gonna fold it upstairs. Yeah, there's actually, you can see the upstairs <coughs> down here. It's probably where the rats come in. I don't even think there's water onto the, uh, this part of the compost. You can see there. the second floor. Yeah, they ripped the panel right out of the wall. That's amazing. I love that. There's some pipes and stuff that are cut off. There's a couple vents and a pipe, and that's a flue. The flue is where the combustion gas is from, like, your a wire tank or furnace or any other combustion type of lines. I and mean, they fucking stole everything they could. Everything. Yep. Yeah, this door doesn't even lock. Yeah, they just kicked in so many times. There ain't shit left to steal. I mean, there's literally nothing left in this place to fucking steal. Let's go upstairs and see what happens. I think they had a little water issue. There's some mold there. Probably hey. gonna. Careful on the steps. I want it. I'm not carrying anybody out here for a broken ankle. No, oh, jeez. There's a hole in the floor over here, so be careful. Golf ball. Just make all the fines, don't you? <laughs> uh, man. I feel like they should just hand this over to the city. I've never seen it. There's a record in there. Don't you have a record collection, Vince? I do. <laughs> Christian songs. <laughs> Nat King Cole, though. He's pretty good. That's destroyed. Ceilings come oh, from man. the attic. They cut, they <laughs> oh. break into one. You need to break into all of them, then. Or fall through the roof. It's not like a bad space, it's just that everything around it fucking is horrible. It kind of <coughs> <coughs> smells nasty. The bathroom uh, just needs a tub everybody, so it looks like. It's good to go. <laughs> just shit down through the hole in the floor. Hey, Tommy, I'm going to fall through the floor, so we're going to catch me. Okay. Put your arms out. Come on. I can't even really took the fucking switches out and everything, man. Just some fucking savages. We're gonna go along the cross the hall. That window's totally missing. <laughs> oh man! If you would like Holton Wise to sell a property you already own in a video just like this one, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Hello! 
This is horrible. I think like people just come in here and throw their trash bags in here. All right, Vince, we're leaving. Yeah, I think I'm about to get murdered by like a... There's probably some rats in here, so... This one actually has a toilet in it. The furnace is missing in this one, if I can No, no, there it is. Our wire tank's missing. Yeah, this one actually locks. This door's secure. We have another view side by side. You can probably get a bargain. Two fruities. Holy fuck. I'm gonna walk around outside and see what other horribleness is outside. Is there uh, upstairs to this one? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you see them all upstairs. You see them all. Head and alarm system. Who owns this property? Uh, I'm not sure. It's a good question. Someone trying to get rid of it for free? Someone who does not want to own it anymore. <laughs> oh. This place is pretty gross. Should we lock it? <laughs> does it matter? No. Hey! <laughs> If Vince, <laughs> would you live here? This is free. If you tell me you're going to live here, I'll buy it and fix it. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll pass. Well, this, uh, I think there's a lot more than cosmetic issues here. I mean, I think the main issue is that the entire complex um, is so horrible that you can't just buy one unit and make it nice because the surrounding uh, units and property in general just fucking destroy this place, you know? Not to mention, I don't think there's water to like this building. I, I don't know, even though if any of them are occupied, the, the shit's cut off in there. There's no heat. You know, it's not desirable that neighborhood to get anybody to live in. So it's not like you're gonna find like one person that wants to live here. Fucking Vince doesn't want you to live here for free. You so, know? for someone to actually make money in this I think location, buy, like, buildings at the time. I don't think you can buy a unit, and even then, you probably have to control like the HOA or the management company in order to like have any kind of reasonable hopes. It's like a whole redevelopment project. It's like a little slice of East Cleveland inside of Lawrenceville Heights, <laughs> you know? Well, it seems like there's a, just like a disconnect between this little pocket of the city and the residents and everything like that. From an investment standpoint, even though this is such a low price to take over this place, is it worth it for anybody? I think that you, you look at the purchase price, and the purchase price is low, but your actual total investment will be high. Uh, just because of like how horrible like the complex as a whole is. You would have to actually buy, like I said before, you would actually have to buy like full buildings or like control the majority of the complex in order to like turn these units around, and that would require like a huge investment. You know? Someone's trying to break in. I think this uh, whole complex to be abandoned relatively soon. I mean, people are, if you're getting them for free, I mean, there's a reason. And then, I mean, who restores water to the entire building? Like, I don't think there's water to the property. You know, you got to get together with your neighbors and be like, oh, we should probably turn the water back on. It'll be great. We can actually shower. So the tenant, tenant base in this area is obviously kind of low, low quality. Um, cause you know, the, it's not a desirable property, so you're not going to get normal human beings that want to live here. People that are going to live here are going to be ones that can't afford to live anywhere else to begin with. Um, and that's not really the people you want for your tenant base. And there's no like attractiveness to anybody. The only thing that makes this property attractive is the low, the perceived low cost to purchase. You know, something free doesn't have value. <laughs> this is a liability. You know, what if we were walking up the steps, slipped and fell, and then, you know, Vince is laying there crying, <laughs> and we have to carry him out. We can reenact that, too. Yeah. We get sued to people. Right? I mean, the property wasn't even secured, you know? Yeah. Just strolled on in. But the actual amount of money you have to put in is, you know, could be never-ending. I mean, I don't even know if there's plumbing coming to this this building. What are you going to do, trench, you know, in the ground and add uh, plumbing to all the other buildings in this neighborhood? Or, you know, and then what are you going to do? You're going to put in your air, air conditioning unit? You're going to go back to your house and then tomorrow morning you're going to come back and your air conditioning unit's gone. You know, appliances, this kind of place where appliances will get stolen immediately. You know, new windows will get stolen. People will literally come in and strip everything that you put in. Um, 
Habitat for Humanity has some neighborhoods where like they'll stock drywall in the house and then the drywall will disappear overnight. It's a lot of work to fucking remove sheets of drywall and people are just savage and steal anything. They literally steal anything they can resell for like a nickel, you know? They'll do fucking $5,000 in damage to steal like a $100 air conditioner. You think it was like a steady decline or just like plummeted? This really can't happen overnight. It takes like a mass exodus of people and then like, you know, poor management by the company that manages it and the city and other tenants and you know, it's lots of like factors, you know. It's like when an airplane crashes, it's not usually because the pilot just nose dives <laughs> on the ground. It's because like 20 people didn't do their job. I mean, it's pretty fucking horrible. Based on everything that you've just seen, we are going to pass on taking on this project. And it's not even necessarily that the condo itself was totally beat up. It's the outside factors, the factors outside of that individual condo that make this deal a complete loser no matter what you do. You see, the other condos, you know, they're selling for five, six, seven K. The most expensive condo at that entire place sold for twenty five and a half thousand dollars. It's going to cost more than that to buy this condo and renovate it to get it habitable. Outside of that, that's not even the biggest deal. It's all the stuff that's happening around it. You know, as you see, my team, they were able to just go into several other abandoned condo units. So the entire complex is just totally dangerous. People could break in and people are just running around with no supervision in that complex. So we could go in and do the renovation, but it's probably all going to get stolen. Some of you might be thinking, hey, there's opportunity though. We got to buy the entire building. Let's just buy every single condo unit. Well, that doesn't work either because this condo comes with a very hefty point of sale violation list. If you're not familiar with point of sale violations, what that means is to sell a property in this particular city, there's a list of violations that the seller has to clear. If the seller is unable to clear them, he can get the buyer to agree to assume them. So you have a limited amount of time based on a timeline that the city has given you as a buyer to fix up this property. So the idea to just go ahead and purchase it and do nothing, just sit on it until you're able to buy all the other condos around it so you can have enough units to where it's safe to begin renovating, that's not going to happen because the city's going to start fining you and prosecuting you because they want this thing fixed up based upon their timeline. That's why the seller's trying to essentially give it away because putting that money in is probably going to be a net loser for that seller because he cannot control all the factors outside of his unit. You know, all these units are unsecured. He puts any money into this, the rest of the neighborhood, they're going to go in and they're going to scrap and they're going to steal and they're going to destroy things. Wrapping up the video here, what I want to convey to investors out there is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And that is the purpose of this channel. That's what I do on all of my shows. I see a lot of investors, a lot of social media gurus out there that they're only promoting the very best things about this industry. Yes, you can make millions of dollars investing in real estate. Yes, real estate makes more self-made millionaires than any other industry in the United States. But it's not all Lamborghinis, private jets, and girls in bikinis, guys. It is a tough business. And if you're going to invest your hard-earned money into these investments, you need to know exactly what you're getting. And that's why we like to be completely transparent here on our channel. Yes, we sell you investment properties. But when you watch my videos, I give you the good and the bad. I give you the pros and cons of each investment because there is no perfect investment. There is no investment that you're going to go in, do no work, deal with no hurdles, and make wheelbarrows full of money. It just doesn't work that way. So continue educating yourself. Continue learning. If you've got any more questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll make a video just like this one answering your questions. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy.
What they call it, this is a lipstick flip. You just do a little painting, some new floors. Salt. Yeah, they don't need to fix the plumbing or the holes in the walls plumbing or the ceiling. You sell to a nice Amish family that doesn't like plumbing or electricity. I'm just gonna lick your hand. That was really fucking weird. That's what they do in the army. You're bleeding, they just... You probably shouldn't tell stories like that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna suck the poison out. I'm directing her. <laughs> I am directing her. Put it back where it was. They're gonna know. <sighs> Start over. <laughs> so, I mean, that's gonna always. Yeah. It's fucking Carl Monday over here. I think mold forms when there's humidity and moisture. I think that's like the recipe. You know, it's like making bread. It's all kind of the same shit. I mean, it's pretty fucking horrible. Nothing like cutting your finger on a crackhead fucking mirror. God damn it. Fucking hepatitis, here I come. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.